So in this case, what we have, ladies and gentlemen, is we have given uh, angle DAC is congruent to angle BEC, and also um, line DC is congruent to BC. So again, step number one, let's write down our given information. Before we start thinking about stuff, let's just write it down so we have it in our proof. So we have angle DAC is congruent to angle BEC. And these are always nice to write in at the start because we know they have to be there. And we can just say the, state, the reason is given. We don't really have to think about it. OK, step number two. Take our given information and apply it to our figure. So they say that angle D A to C is congruent to B E to C. So if they're congruent, that means they're equal in measure. Does everybody see that? Right? Does everybody agree? Then it says um, DC is congruent to BC. So D to C is congruent to B to C. So those are equal to each other. All right? And now I know this is kind of hard for you guys sometimes to figure out, um, but we're trying to determine that this triangle is congruent to this triangle. Now, so far, all I have that's congruent is an angle and a side, right? Now, of the congruence, congruence that we've learned, we have, well, only, I'm sorry, of the congruence that we're going to work on for today, we have angle, side, angle, and angle, angle, side. So what that means is I need to somehow prove that either um, so if I have angle side, or I could do angle angle. So I need to either see, can I prove that these two angles are the same, or prove these two angles are the same, right? per my what I'm trying to prove for today. Um, so I either need to prove that these two angles are equal to each other, or these two angles are equal to each other. So do you think, which, do you think one might be easier than the other, proving these two angles are equal for both triangles? Or these two angles are equal for both triangles. Tommy, you want to give it a shot? I'll say it again. Per what we're trying to prove, the congruency that we're using for today, it's either angle side angle or angle angle side. So far, the only thing I have true for both triangles is angle and a side, right? So I need to figure out what other angle is true for both or is congruent for both these angles. Either this angle is congruent to that angle. Or this angle is congruent to this angle. Which one do you think would work best for my proof? OK, so why do you think they're equal to each other? Or how, how would you say they're equal to each other with absolute positivity that they're right, that you're right? I'll tell you what, it's kind of tough. You really don't have enough information right now to say that angle B and angle D are, are um, congruent. So then I'll switch gears and I'll say, well, then how can we show that angle C is congruent to angle C? And David, do you have any idea? How can we say that angle C is congruent to angle C for both triangles? There's only one C, only one C right? So does this angle C have to be exactly the same for both triangles? Yep. Yes. So you could say angle C is congruent to angle C. Why? Because it's the exact same angle. Or you could say the reflexive property, um, or reflexive. So hold on, hold on. So now, hold on, I'm almost done. So now, ladies and gentlemen, we have angle side angle is congruent to angle, I'm sorry, we have OK, we have angle side angle is congruent to angle side angle. So therefore, we can write triangle DCA. Excuse me, Guillermo. Sit right down. Yeah, exactly, I know. I'm wait, I'll wait for him to go back and sit back down. Sit down. Like, really need to move that. So triangle DCA is congruent to BCE. The reason being because we have angle, side, angle, side, angle. Now, go to lunch.